Good morning. I have a very joyful message for you. And uh, this message today, shall take us to Luke chapter 11 from verse 5 listen proper and he said to them which of you shall have a friend and go to him at midnight and say to him friend lend me three loaves for a friend of mine has come to me on his journey and I have nothing to set before him and you answer him from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give to you. I said to you, Though he will not rise and give to him, because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I said to you, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. Naba gamba nti, ani kumwe, alina wa mkwano, aligende uwe etumbi, na mkwano nti, mkwano kwange, mpole migati ya satu, kubanga mkwano kwanga ze, ava mulugendo, na nge siri na chakusamu maso ge, nori alimu na mudamu na mkwano nti, tonte ganya, Kubanga kakano orujiru gale. Abana bange nange tumazo kwe baka. Si inza kukoloko kakukua. Mbaga mbanti ni wankuba denga tagoloko kanamu wa kubanga mkwano gwe. Na yoro kutahiri na kwe. Ana goloko kanamu wabiyo nabiyo yetaga. Nange mbaga mba mwenti. Musabe muli webwa. Munonye muli laba. Mweyanjule muli guliru wawo. Philippians chapter 4. Ama Philippi esule yokuna. Verse 4. Olunyiri yoro kuna. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus Musa nyukirenga mukama wafe enaku zona na tenjo geranti Musa nyukenga okuzibi kiliza kwa mwe kumanyibwenga bantu bona mukama wafe alikumpi temwera likiranga chigamba chonna chonna Na ya mbulichigambo chona, mkusabanga no kwe gailiranga, awamu no kwe bazanga. Bia mwagala, bitegeze wenga ili katonda. Na mbile mbeja katonda, ejisi wa kutege wa kona, jina wa kumanga emiti majamwe, na mbile woze bia mwe, mkristo yesu. I'm reading Luke 18. Nsoma Luka kuminamunana. From verse 1. Okuvakulu nyiri yoli soka. Then he spoke a parable to them that men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. Saying, there was in a certain city a judge who did not fear God, no regard man. Now there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying, get justice for me from my adversaries. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, 
Though I do not fear God, nor regard the man, yet because this widow troubles me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she wears me. Then the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said, And God shall not avenge his own elect, who cry out day and night to him, though he bears long with them. Never get it all get all, but you are going to look Sabangabri Joe, Otako Wanga. Never gambanti. Why you want Malamuzi, which will get you more, attach a catonda, and Angata Samu to Chitibua, and a wadi one Namandu, which will get you, Najanga Wali, Gamugambanti, Namula no Mulabe Wange, Natasoka Kukiriza, Nayoruva Numa, Nayoga Munda Muye, and Tinawanguba de Ngasicha Catonda. Eranga si samu tuchitivwa. Na yoro kuunte ganya na mandono kuunte ganya. Na mula mula. Alemo kuunte ngeza nga joru tata. Mukama wafe naba gamba nti. Muulino mula muzoyo atali mutu kilifuchia gamba. Kale ne katonda. Tali na mula balondebe aba mukabili ya. Emisana nechio nga chagu mikiriza. 1 Corinthians 10.13 Aba kulisa chisoka kumi kumi na satu. No temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. But with the temptation will also make the way of escape that you may be able to bear it. Siwali kukema ukuba kuata, okutali kwa bantu. Neka chonda mwesi gwa, ataba ganyenga kukeme gwa, okusinga mwemu yeza. Na yawa muna okukeme gwa, elana sanga ono wabudu kilo, mwili okemu yeza ngo kugumikiriza. There are millions of poor people. Wali ya bantu wabavu, bukade na bukade. There are millions of sick people. Wali wa bukade wa bantu, abalu wade. There are millions of divorced people. Era wali wano bukade wa bantu, abava mbufumbo. There are millions of people suffering. Wali wa bantu banji nyaba mwona mwona. There are millions of rejected people. Wali wa bukade no bukade wa bantu, abaga nibuwa. There are millions of troubled people. Wali wano bukade no bukade wa bantu, abata wanyizibuwa. So if you check the problem you have exactly. Katibuwa kema ira dalobulu unjo, obuzibubu wali na. Millions of people have the same problem. Obukade no bukade wa bantu, bali no obuzibubu. They are passing through the same condition. That is why he said, no temptation, no trial has ever come to you. But only such common to man. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond your limit. But with the temptation, where is our hope? He will always put an escape. He has put a faithful servant to attend to our situation. His name is Christ Jesus. But prayer is like this. Let's say over there at the table, that is where I will find what I'm asking for. Now, I start prayer today. Tomorrow. Another day. Another day. Another day. Another day. Trusting and knowing that he who is the giver, he who is the problem solver, he is faithful. He will not abandon me. He will answer the prayer straight away. So I persist to pray. I persist to pray until when I have got what I wanted. He teaches me to, to watch, watch and pray and, and keeps me rejoicing every day. day. Mm. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day when, when Jesus washed my sins away.
This song teaches us something. It teaches me to watch and pray. It teaches me to watch and pray while. Luachi anji kiliza okusaba elanga buenda vechi genda maso. I pray I watch. Nisaba buenda tegeleza. Because he is faithful. Kubanga ye mwesi gwa. My prayer. Esala yange will bear results. That is why I should watch and pray. That is, that, that is why I should pray and watch. Because he is so faithful. I pray. I watch for the mirror. Because he is so faithful. There must be results. Brother, sister. Pray and watch. Watch and pray. For the results. He teaches me to watch and pray. And keeps me rejoicing every day. Oh, happy day. So oh, happy day. Hallelujah. Amen. Again, he teaches me to watch and pray and keeps me rejoicing every day. Oh, happy days. So oh, happy days when Jesus washed my sins away. He keeps me rejoicing. Because whatever the prayer I pray, I see the result. Then I rejoice. Then I pray again. He teaches me to watch and pray. And keeps me rejoicing every day. Oh, happy days. Oh, happy days. When Jesus washed my sins away. And Luke said, who will go to a friend? Muluka atugamba, anyana agende wa mkwano kwe. At night. Eshiro matumbi vude. And they said to him, I have a visitor, he's from afar. Na mkamba, tini no mgenyi, hava wala. And then a friend said to him, no, don't trouble me, I'm sleeping with me and my children. Ze tu antaga nyanze, na maze dokwe bakanze na abana bange. He said he will give him no because he's a friend. Atugamba nti ajakumu wasiru akubanti mkwano gwe. But because of his continual persistence. Na hiru kubanga onalemede konyo. Brother and sister continue persistent prayer. You must persist in prayer. You must watch and pray. You must pray and watch. Because there is no genuine prayer without results. What sin we have is doubt. Our sin we have is the, our weakness. The moment you start prayer, you are dozing. The moment you start prayer, you begin to ask where these things will come from. Paul and Silas, they prayed and they watched when they were in the prison with no help and nobody. The earthquake was sent to rescue them. What do you know? How do you know? Whether God will send us quick. They are all his servants. You pray and watch. Say, oh Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive me this my weakness. Because I pray. And then I doubt. My weakness is my inconsistence. Jesus, yes, give me the grace mpa echisa. to persist, o kule merako. to persist ne merako. in prayer, Mukusaba. to persist ne merako. in prayer, Mukusaba. 
because you are faithful and you do what you promise. I'm reading Acts of Apostle 16. Listen to this from verse 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were loosed. <laughs> Amanguago, ne waba wech kanka ne chinene, ne misin jiji komera, ne jikanka na. Amanguago, enzi jizo na ne zikuka, ne biya ibi basibiye, biya na ne bisumuru kuka. To God be the glory. God answered their prayer. And sent us quick. Na tuma musisi. How do you know? Omanyotia. They are all his servants. I say to you, while you are praying, you should watch for the results. Because he said, 14, 13, and 14 of John, that if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Then why don't you ask and wait for him to do it? It is as if you pray and wait to do it for yourself. That is doubt. I'm reading 14, 13 and 14 of John. He promised and he said, And whatever you ask in my name, that I'll do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. To go be the growth. The moment you trust him that God is faithful. Ah uh ah. -uh. He is so faithful, he will not fail. Whether he's sending an angel, that's not your issue. Whether he will send the earthquake, that's not an issue. You watch and pray. You pray and you watch. He teaches me to watch and pray and keeps me rejoicing every day. Those who step in faith and wait in faith and walk in faith listen and see our sister Chizuka Jenny from Zambia. My name is Jenny Chizuka. I come from Zambia. Rwanda. Zambia. My name is Jenny Smuvari Chizuka. I come from Zambia, Rusaka. The problem which brought me here is the pains in my legs, in my knees. I've also got gout and arthritis. This is my medical report from St. John Paul II in Lusaka and from Kabarenga Family Hospital. We are now looking at this medical report from St. John Paul II Orthopedic Mission Hospital in Zambia. It's a medical report for Lady Jane Semubali. Here, her doctor is writing to inform us that this lady has been having chronic pain in the knees for over a year, and upon examination, she was diagnosed with degenerative changes with severe narrowing of both knee joint spaces and osteophytes, and she has been treated accordingly, and doctors suggested that she should undergo total knee replacement surgery. This is being confirmed by Dr. Patrick Mwenga Kinda, the medical superintendent. She's right here to receive her healing in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ contains healing power. Abuna Bubu This power is draining her towards her healing. And the floor she goes. Be healed. In 
the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Rise up and go for your free. Glory be to Jesus. Once the son says yes, no one can say no. He has said yes to the healing of Sister Jenny. from Zambia. Mm. Even at home when going up the, our room, she struggles. She has to take almost 30 minutes just going up the stairs. She walks short. She walks short. She couldn't lift her legs so strong like that. We thank you, Jesus. Okay, let's hear from you. Later. Thank you. Praise God. Mom had suffered a lot. I'm Gertrude Kaneta Lungu. This is my mother. She has suffered a lot in her life and I really thank God for what he has done in her life. What message are you giving the Zambia people? <laughs> Kuchalo Kampala. Kuno Kuchalo. Yeah, Kampala. Mulungwaliko, there's God here. Mulungwaliko no Kuchalo Kampala. Amen. Okay, let's hear from us. Mwewe Kachalo, no Veron comes from Zambia. Yotu Tramuna no Chatu Papisha. Chine Chine, they say Mwadi Muno. Amen. It's in Tuchetiki, they say Mwadi, Tuamu Sanga Muno. Amen. Okay, let's hear from the mom. No one to worry, so I know one say, Muzambia. Damambi, I didn't want to know who no Jirayo shas, and I was one that you won. Ah, was one bomb we all have to babble, I was 
Zambia, mm. basamu ya wakakande ministry, abu gaba rete uhunga ujisi dwe, uyopo na muhinaria jeso. Amen. 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 you tell them kakande is coming kuchalo Zambia? <laughs> testimony after the prayer made in faith by prophet Samuel Kakande My names are Jens Mubar Chijuka I come from Zambia The problem that has brought me my legs started swelling from the knees up to the toes I had suffered for 3 years but then I decided to go to the hospital after I took a bit of painkillers when I reached at the hospital, I was told there's need for me to undergo an operation. What was needed was a replacement of a kneecap. I couldn't walk. As, as you saw in the screen, I was struggling. Walking sometimes, it was very difficult. I couldn't stand straight. I couldn't you know, do household works. I failed. You can imagine even lifting my own grandchildren, it was a problem. As a family, we started discussing that maybe I could go to India. But then, before we were preparing ourselves so that I can go to India, one of my daughters in law came and told me that, Mommy, try to be seeing what is happening on YouTube. There's a prophet in Uganda, Kakande Ministries. I started now watching on YouTube. I was always on YouTube watching testimonies, listening to the man of God's preachings. I was very encouraged from what I was seeing. Then from there, we started now with my young sister and my daughters. We started now planning to come. When we came here, Prophet Samuel Kakande, when he prayed for me, I can't explain much because I just felt just going backwards and I ended up falling. Immediately I, I realized that I was told to wake up. I started jumping and running. I thank God. I will ever, ever be grateful for what the prophet Samuel Kakande has done in my life through our Savior who has given him this privilege of helping our Brothers and sisters, whoever is not feeling well, this time I'm a young girl, though I'm 65 years old. <laughs> okay, I can run, no problem. Clap for Jesus. I can jump. <laughs> Thank you, Prophet, for praying for me. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, help me to praise God. Hallelujah! Viewers over the world, whatever your complaint be, millions are passing through the same. 
but those who step into Christ Jesus. Nayabo abali nyamunda mu Kristo Yesu. They tell a different story. Bategeze bya faya te byanja ulo. How many minutes it took our sister to be healed? Can you step into Christ Jesus? I have good news for you. Pray. Saba. Expecting. Watch the results because God is faithful. Her sister came from Zambia. For how many years she has been troubled? When she reached Kampala, her faith was not in vain. The moment I stretch my hand in faith, the lady was here. Why do you trouble yourself? No. I want you to be the first to step into faith among those who have asthma. In these days, this generation, and tell a different story. To go be the glory. Learn to watch and pray. Learn to pray and watch. Because he is faithful. He will keep you rejoicing. Every day. He teaches me. Sing every day. Oh, oh, oh. Viewers over the world. Now I think you have developed or you have cultivated the faith you need. The moment I stretch my hand like this, I did not even touch her. Brother, sister, I don't need to touch you. Once I stretch my hand, the Lord Jesus Christ will touch you. This is not a barrier. Whatever the sickness you have, whatever the problem you have, I don't need to touch you to go be the glory. Cultivate an attitude of faith. We are going to pray. Whatever the problem, whatever be the cause, don't worry. He said, but in every situation, Philippians, listen to what he said. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Insist on prayer. Once I raise my hand, raise your hand and touch your screen. Whether screen of your telephone, whichever media you are watching us through, stretch your hand and pray. That is why this is called a platform of faith. Because he said, two or three join together. Now we have joined together here at the platform of faith. Yes, to pray upon this condition and this situation. I'm reading Matthew 18, 18. Assuredly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I say to you, to who? To you and me, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they may ask, 
it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst of them. Mazima mbaka mbanti, vyo nabye mulisi wa kuhusi, bilisi wa mugulu. Elabyo nabye mulisi mulu la kuhusi, bilisi mulu li wa mugulu. Na temba kambanti, obaba namwe babiri, webe tabanga kuhusi, bulichikamba chona chebali saba, chili bakole lwa chitange ali mugulu. Kubanga, webe bababiri, obaba satu, ngabaku nganye mulinyali ange, nange ndia wa wakati wabwe. So he is here at the platform of faith. He is with us who are joined hands, me and you, the viewers. Viewers over the world. Let us agree. For the situation is such common to man. Because we want to tell a different story. Say, Oh Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jesus Christ. Locate me. Locate me. Here I am. Here I am. At the platform of faith. At the platform of faith. I agree with Pastor Kakande. I agree with Pastor Kakande. In faith. In faith. That these issues. That these issues. As common to man. As common to man. You are so faithful. You are so faithful to solve it. To solve it that you cannot fail. That you cannot fail with all these issues. With all these issues, you will put a way out for me. You will put a way out for me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm praying over these issues. I'm praying over these issues. Make a way. 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 In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. Okay, we are coming back. Let's see our sister Moira Chifula from Zambia. To come out at level sister from Moira, Okuve Zambia. My name is Amwira Chiruvia from Zambia. The problem that has brought me here is the problem of the back pain. I've had this problem for three years now, and after going to the doctor, I was told I have scoliosis, and this is the medical report to confirm my condition. From Coptic Hospital, Zambia. Let's take a look at this medical report from Coptic Hospital in Zambia from the Radiology and Diagnostic Center. It's an X-ray examination of the dorsal spine of Sister Mwela C. Ngandu. Here the doctors examined her and they found that she has got right-sided scoliosis. This is a loss of the normal curvature of the spine, which is causing her so much pain. And this is being confirmed by Dr. Atef Banub, the senior consultant radiologist. These are three years when she cannot bend, she cannot do anything. She has to be supported with this lumbar corset. Remember the name of that someone, his name is Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be here. Watch brethren, the touch of God's power upon her. Be here. Woman, rise up and go, for you are free. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. This is her day. She's now moving the number for it. For healing me, I am free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Oh, I am free. I am free. I am free, Lord. I am free. Oh. Sister Mwila is healed. My name is Amwila Chufia from Zambia. I've had this back pain for three years now. I can't do anything. I can't carry my baby. I can't wash. I can't sit for a long time. I can't stand. After the man of God has prayed for me, I feel so free. I am healed in Jesus' name. Man of God, thank you for praying then for me. Then why are you crying? I am happy. In Zambia, when you're happy, you cry. <laughs> so what message do you give to the Zambian people in your language? Bonse mazambia ni kunyumba. Ni kuuza ni problem ili yonse ya mene muli nayo. Osa nkala ogoda utaiyai. Bwela ni kukakande ministries. Muza pola. Baza pola. Chaloka, who am I to be called?
The Lord Jesus Christ instantly healed Lady Mwila all the way from Zambia. And the following morning, her joy had no bounds. Listen to her testimony. My name is Mwila Chilufia from Zambia. The problem that brought me here to Kakande Ministry was the problem of the back. This problem has given me so much difficulties in the sense that I have a little baby. Every time when the baby wants me, I can't carry the baby. I can't do anything. I can't sit for a long time. So after I saw that, I decided to go to the hospital. When I went to the hospital, at first I was told to do physiotherapy, which I did 12 sessions. I used a lot of money to the extent that we became so broke at home. I've had this problem for three years now. This is the lumbar corset which I was given by the doctor to be using in order for me to have a bit of relief. But when I wear this lumbar corset, nothing was happening. I was still feeling the same pain. So after I started just praying on my own, praying, praying, one day I got my phone. Then I went on Facebook. That's when I saw the man of God, Prophet Samo Kakande, praying for people. People were getting healed. I got inspired. That's when I decided to look for money for me to come here. When I came here, uh, the man of God prayed for me. So after he prayed for me, then the Lord Jesus healed me instantly. I thank the man of God for praying for me, and I thank Jesus for healing me. This thing is expired now. I can't use it no more. So I throw it here. Now I can stand for a long time. I can sit for a long time. I sleep. I wake up in the morning without pain. I'm able to wash without pain. I can walk. I can run. I can sit straight, I can bend. I thank Jesus for healing me and the man of God, Professor Moka Kande, for praying for me. <laughs> Message to the Zambian. Udu onse kunganda, ukwe tobu afya, takuwa becha shupa kulilesa. Na nguchikule shani wa dokta nga bafidwa, nga waisa femuno, wanyanta mofio kulu. Muli Prophet Kakande Ministry. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. No situation can fail him. He is so faithful. But the question do you mind to pray? Do you mind to pray and watch? Or you just Pray and go away. No. Pray and watch. To say pray and expect. Because he is faithful. But as much as you have seen me praying for our sister, 
Chirufia from Zambia. Nenga bola bienga, sabi la sister of Chirufia kuve Zambia. Let me use the same simple hand. Kanko ze so mkono mu angu gwe gumu. Are you ready? O waluganda wetege say. If you can stand, stand up. Bobo so walo kui mira imirira. If you cannot stand, it's okay. But stretch your hand. So that we agree. What do you want? People want to build houses. You too, you are one of them. Father, to all those who are poor, I stretch my hand in prayer. I release Sumulula. finances to their hands. Sumulula ebi mfuna ebi mikono jabwe. A blessing to your hand. O mukisa ebi mikono guo. I release a blessing to your stretched hand. Sumulula o mukisa ebi mikono guo guo golo. Favor to your hand. O kuganja ebi o mikono guo guo golo. To those who are sick. Ebi ababalwa day. I release healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus solemnly. Be healed in Jesus solemnly. I release deliverance upon your life. Be delivered in Jesus name. Are you demon possessed? Be released in Jesus solemnly. Do you have asthma? I release your healing in Jesus' holy name. Healing to your chest. Healing to your breathing system. Do you have fibros? I release healing to your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Do you have death? I release your finances, your blessings. I release your business in the name of Jesus Christ. I release your office in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you are released. You are released. You are released. By the name of Jesus Christ, your business is released. Your business is released. Your business is released. I declare release in Jesus' name. As I declare to the woman Mwila Chirufia, I say to her, you are free. You are healed. I say to you who believe, you are free in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. The sick check your body. Take healing in a simple way. Because he's so faithful. Receive your healing. Those who have not believed, those who are not saved, I release your salvation. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you today. I accept you today as my personal savior and Lord. My personal savior and Lord. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Write my name. Write my name in the book of life. In the book of life. Since today. Since today. I'm born again. I'm born again. Not by the blood. Not by the blood. Not by the flesh. Not by the flesh. But the will of God. But by the will of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm welcome. I'm welcome. In the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. He teaches me to wash and pray and give spiritual every day.
begin to rejoice. Begin to rejoice. I release joy into your heart, into your business. I release joy into your business. I release joy into your business. Joy into your office. 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 Joy be released. Freedom. 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 Miracle. I release miracle into your life. 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 In Christ Jesus' holy name. He teaches me. He teaches me to wash and pray. Gives me rejoicing every day. Oh, happy day! Oh, happy day! When Jesus washed my sins away. Viewers over the world, I told you we have good news. Nabagamba tuina mauli da malunji. And the good news is for the roofing of our church. This coming Thursday, we put the first iron sheet on the house of God. It will be Thursday 27th, April 2023. I said those who are not near, who are not able to come, send your $200 to the dollars. You can send more according to what your heart tells you. Uh, to those who are in Kenya, send your 20,000 Kenya shilling. And those who are in Uganda, we come with 700,000. Remember, we are winding up. We haven't been congregating. Now it is time to congregate. Because once we roof, we just clear and walk upon the ground. It will not take us even a month. We begin to congregate. To go be the glory. So my fellow Ugandans, please hurry up that you may enter our church. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to show to everybody that God has answered our prayer. And those who are building their houses, may the Lord the same answer your prayer. So we shall entertain the sick with the corsets, with the collar, with the um, nibres because you know we are still building why we don't welcome or whatever because of uh, the building you, you may not be able to move from this place to another place yes but uh, with this situation we shall welcome those with it Yes. yes. So come many. I know that the Lord Jesus will deliver you. I say it will be 27th. Then you will be blessed. Um, this uh, April. 2023. Come. Let us uh, finalize what we are doing we are fundraising kati chetuko la bachiita fundraising tusonda sente of building this house of god sente zo kuzimba nyumba ya katonde those who are deceiving you eri aba baba limba limba leave them alone we are an ngio we are a church tulikanisa tuli kitongole entitled to do fundraising echikirizibwa kusonda sente if we are building 
anything which is communal this is a public place it is a church not for one person that is why we are contributing that is why we are fundraising yes and this each church has its own way to fundraise. This is how we fundraise. I told you we are building, you have seen the building. Yes. Come and see with yourself. Let us watch and see. The building we are talking about. This is how the house of God will look like. Let us see how far we have gone. This is how far we have gone. And this is what we are going to roof. The trusses you see in the middle. Yes. So nobody should deceive you. You come and see by yourself to go be the glory. So I'm waiting for you on Thursday. And uh, let's continue with our program. Do you want to believe? Mm. What is the problem? You want to know the cause? Let's look and see our... Our brother, Dr. Pius Ochola from Kenya. We are